This is math for Monday, April 6th for my pre-algebra class. Um, our lesson is 13.5, and we've been finding circumference and area, but we've been finding circumference and area of flat surfaces. So we found um, how much carpet needs to go onto the floor or how much trim needs to go around the room. Well, that's a flat surface. And today we're going to talk about surface area of three-dimensional um, objects. So I have the history book here um, because it, this makes a nice rectangular prism and we can talk about the different um, parts and pieces. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand my book up like this just like it would be on a shelf. Okay, and we need to talk about a few aspects of this so that we understand the language as we move into the math lesson. Okay, so any flat surface is a face. So this is a face this is a face, this is a face, okay, I think you get the idea of what a face is, and then we've talked about the edges before, and we've gone through this, this is an edge, this is an edge, this is an edge, and edge is where two faces meet, and then you need to know what a vertex is, and a vertex is the points, okay, so I have some vertices, or a vertex, in these various places. Okay, we also need to know that if I stand the book like this, that I would consider this a base and this a base. These are my bases and these are my lateral surfaces. If I took the shape and I laid it like this, these are my bases and now these are my lateral surfaces. So I hope you get the idea. Whatever it sits on the ground on is a base and the top is a base but the outside edges that aren't sitting directly on the floor or on the top are these are considered our, our lateral um, faces so it depends on how the shape is sitting as to what your bases are okay so with that being said we're going to talk about how to find the surface area now the surface area is not what's inside or how it's not volume it's not how much it can hold so when we talk about area we want in we talk if we talked about the area of just this cover it's a flat surface so we could find the area and um, the base times the height okay but when it asks for surface area it wants to know what is the area of every surface added together on our shape so we would need to find the area area, the area, the area, the area, and we would need to take all of those and add those together to find our surface area. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea of surface area as I hold this up. So keep a cube or a rectangular prism in mind as we go through this, th through this lesson. So um, let's look um, at example one okay so example one says find the lateral surface area and surface area of the prism okay so what I want you to see is there are two different things we're looking for we're looking for the lateral area lateral surface area and then we're going to be looking for the total surface area and you might ask well what's the difference between these two and this is really important to understand remember how i talked about this having bases so lateral area if i was standing this um, rectangular prism up like this lateral remember is does not include the bases so the lateral area is the lateral um, area of each one of the lateral surfaces. If I'm talking about surface area, it's all of the surfaces. Okay, so lateral area does not include the bases and surface area does. So what I want to do, if I was finding the, the lateral area of this, I want to dissect or take apart my um, object and lay it flat on the table. So many, many times you guys have taken paper and built a cube in class, but you know that simply I, if I cut one side and I do some unfolding, I can actually lay my cube flat on the table. Okay, so that's kind of what we're gonna do 
with every shape. So if you look at example one, it says find the lateral area. So we see this shape. So we see this shape, okay? So if this is a base, I'm gonna color my base in here, and this is a base for right now, um, I don't need to find those because I only need to find those when I'm finding my surface area. Right now I need to find my lateral surface area. So looking at this as a three-dimensional object, you can look at the one on page 563. It's a little bit better than my drawing. What am I really finding? Well, if I were to cut this, and to lay it open, what I might have is a rectangle. Do you see this rectangle right here? A rectangle right here. And then do you see the rectangle at the back? So I have three rectangles. So let's go ahead and write down the dimensions for those rectangles. So first let's talk about this rectangle right here. What is the height? of this rectangle, eight centimeters. Now, do we find that the rest of these are going to be eight centimeters tall? Is this one going to be eight centimeters? And then the back one, yes. So each one is eight centimeters tall. Its height is eight centimeters. But if we look at the shape, we see that it says three centimeters here, and four centimeters here, and five centimeters across the back. So that tells me that this rectangle that we've taken out is eight by three. And it tells me that this one is an eight by four. And it tells me that this back one is going to be eight by five. Okay, so what now I have here are three different rectangles that I can find the area of I can add them together and then I have my lateral area, okay? So eight times three is 24, eight times four is 32, and eight times five is 40, okay? So now to find my lateral surface area of the shape, I'm going to add together 24 plus 32 plus 40. 96. So 96 centimeters squared is my lateral surface area. Now, when I want to find my surface area, I also need to find the lateral, but now that I know it, I don't have to go refind it. Okay, but I need to add in the area of the bases. Okay, so now I need to look at these triangles. Really what I have are I have two triangles. Now, you tell, well, I did a terrible job at drawing that, but you tell me by looking at that shape if those triangles are actually going to have the same area. I hope that you answered yes. They look like they're going to have the same area because they're both five centimeters on one side, three centimeters on one side, and four. So I'm gonna actually redraw this. Do you see the little right angle picture? It's right here. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my right angle like that, okay? Because it matters where our perpendicular lines are, okay? So if I'm looking at this, what is my hypotenuse? Well, it's five, okay? What is the length of the base of the right triangle? I hope you can see that it's four. And then what is this other leg going to be? So here's my little right triangle. We've just rotated it, three, okay? Well, what do I need to be able to find the area of this triangle? Do I need this number? No. I need to multiply, remember the area of a triangle is the base times the height divided by two, okay? So the base times the height is 12, and we wanna find one half of 12, which I hope you see is six. So the area of this triangle is six. Okay, so the area of this triangle is six and the area of this triangle is six. So let's add those together. The area of our bases is 12 centimeters squared. 
so 12 centimeters squared. But for surface area, I need the bases and the lateral area. So I'm going to go ahead and add back in that lateral area for 108 centimeters squared. And this is my surface area. So the area going around is 96 centimeters squared, our lateral, and our total surface area is 108 centimeters squared. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at example two. Okay, so <clears throat> I really like to take my picture and then draw the actual flat shapes that it makes up and I really encourage you to take your time to do that. It's really hard to see if you're looking at that um, 3D object and you're not breaking it into individual flat pieces, keeping in mind which ones are the bases and which ones are the lateral surfaces. So I want to talk about our cylinder. So here I have my can of water. Okay, because <clears throat> the cylinder is kind of hard to see. But here's the cool thing about a cylinder. If I take my cylinder and I look at it <clears throat> on paper, it's kind of hard to see that what, do, what shapes do I really have if I want to dissect these and cut these and make some flat shapes. Well, my bases are made up of what? Two circles. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my shape into two circles. Now this one's hard because it's rounded, but if I were to take the top and take the bottom off, and then I were to make one cut, and I laid my cylinder out flat, do you know what shape I would get? I would get a rectangle. Now, if I took a rectangular sheet of paper and I folded it over, I would get the lateral surface area of a cylinder. So a cylinder is simply made up of two circles and a rectangle. <clears throat> so when we get to um, example two, it says find the surface area of the cylinder. Okay, and they give us some measurements. They say the radius is three inches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that on my shape. Okay, and then it says the height is nine inches. Okay, so what does that tell me about this right here? The, this height is nine inches. Okay, now I want you to see something about, and I have what I need to find the area of a circle, right? Because the area of a circle is pi r squared. I don't want to get that mixed up with circumference. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. If you remember, the circumference is 2 pi r. Um, they're very similar, so we want to make sure that we keep those. So I have what I need to find the area of these two circles, but I do not have the, the information that I need here. I have the height, but to find the area of this rectangle, I need to find the base times the height. So my height is 9, but what is the base, and how can I find that? Well, if I were to take my rectangular piece of paper and I were to roll it up here, then what would happen is I would roll it up and what would I see on the edge? This circle, right? So the area of the circle? No, the circumference of the circle. If I laid open the circumference of that circle, I would find the base of the rectangle. So that's what we need to do. So here, the base is going to equal the circumference of this circle. Okay, so um, we'll come back to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and find the areas of our two circles for our surface area. Okay, so um, area equals pi r squared. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the radius of 3 into your calculator. 3 times 3 is 9. So we need to find the area of pi times 9. Okay. And then we need to find, did you find the answer to that? 
they don't they don't quite do it like this in the book but I think it's a little bit easier to break it down go ahead and write that answer in here okay and then is this going to be the exact same so let's go ahead and write another answer here let me grab my calculator real quick so I can catch up with you Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so 3.14 times 9, 28.26. So the area of this one is 28.26 inches squared, and this one is 28.26 inches squared. Okay, now we need to find the area of this rectangle. Let me move that just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so Again, we have to find our base so we can do our base times our height. So how do we find the base? Well, we find it by finding the circumference. So 2 pi times the radius, which is 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so we need to find pi of 6 to find our base. Go ahead and put that in your calculator. 18.84 okay. inches. So now we have our base and we have our height, so we can multiply those together. So 169.56 inches squared. So now I have the area of all three um, shapes that I need to find. Okay, so let's add them together. 169.5 plus 28.26, 28.26. You can put that in your calculator if you would like to. That's what I'm going to do. Two hundred twenty-six eight one hundredths inches squared. Looks like they they rounded this to the nearest tenth and said that that would be a one. So 226.1 inches squared. Okay, so I hope that helped you. When you're doing your area today, think about this. Is it asking me for lateral surface area or is it asking me for total surface area? Okay, and then you need to take your shape and break it down into flat shapes on your page that you have the tools to find the area of. This one's really tricky about finding the circumference to be the base, okay? Take a piece of paper, though, and you can figure it out by actually holding that piece of paper in your hand. Um, remember your uh, formulas for circles, the area, and the circumference. Remember how to find the area of a triangle, okay? You need to write those down on a card or at the top of your notes. Um, do that so that you can find these areas and add them together. So um, for today, I would like for you to start at number five. And then work your way through number 27. and you can just do odds. So five through 27 odds.